throw it's dry. <laughs> hey, I'm Brad. Hey, I'm Brad. I'm Graham. I'm Paul. I'm Phil. Uh, today we're going to do the Goose Island India Pale Ale. Goose Island being uh, one of Chicago's probably most famous breweries. And um, India Pale Ale being probably their second widest. Most yeah, famous besides 312. Oh, I was going to say Honkers. Yeah, um, well, I guess, it's, I think I guess it's in the it's in the top top three of, of the their biggest oh, one of their flagships. One that you can definitely get all over New York City. Um, Goose Island is a beer that we're gonna do today. Um, more I think it's more popular today than any other week just because they were bought out yeah, by a lot more popular last yeah. Monday. Yeah, last Monday. <laughs> last Monday. Because <laughs> we filmed this the day it gets released. Yeah. Um, but it's more popular right now than it, than it has been in a while just because Anheuser-Busch has bought Goose Island and it's distributing rights. So. Yeah, no, we had started talking about it. We had, Anheuser-Busch, and you said along with somebody else, had been distributing Goose Island. Along with other. Yeah, along with a couple of other. They were a major one. Now they just purchased it. They say, oh, right. they say it's not going to change. They're going to leave the brewing in Chicago, mm-hmm. which is I think is smart. I mean, it seems just like a, a play to Anheuser-Busch to get involved. In the craft beer, much like Coors is with uh, Blue Moon. Well, I think it's more of the uh, St. Louis Cardinals getting more, even more in the. So it is just a trade. We own you. Oh, you got that beer you drink every time. We got the wine oh, okay. and your Goose beer. Island, cute little Chicago yeah. brewery. Yeah. Oh, ours. What's the Chicago? Um, the Chicago Cubs Stadium becomes the first dry stadium in the MLB. This place is supposedly like an art. It's a bar with a baseball game that goes on, from what I understand. But yeah, I mean, it's because I looked at the website for funsies today because I don't look at Anne has a Bush website much other than for that. Especially not for fun. It's my own page. Yeah, it's my own page. Yeah. Uh, but I looked throughout and, and all the Michelob stuff seems to be with their like, gearing towards craft beers. I hadn't noticed, but they have like, oh, yeah, they have a Bach and then they have like, right. other, they have a, a few other like pale ales and stuff that they're trying to like, and it's like Michelob? Like a Michelob winter uh, selection? Yeah. Like yeah, winter yeah, craft. They're it's really like, most bizarre, that. like it had to have been like a, like a shareholders meeting where they put all the names in the hat. Like, <laughs> all right, this is it. This is it. Whatever name comes out of this, that's the one that we're going to make our craft beer. And they're like, uh, <laughs> and there's but, one guy in the back one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we well, you see this by breweries and major breweries trying to grab stuff. Like I said, with Blue Moon has become a bigger grab some of the crap because they're losing all that one percent or one point two percent or whatever it is now. The market, like, Man, we gotta get this back because <laughs> people love money. They don't play them. <laughs> It is, it is interesting at another level where even, I mean, it hasn't happened on a level this large yeah, recently. Drink. Let's, let's drink and let's then we'll drink. Drink. we'll see how it goes. But you're right. No, no, like, no, but it has level. happened at a lot of like mid-level breweries buying up smaller breweries yeah, and whatnot. Well, Jenny and Jenny 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 yeah, the closest thing that we can come up, I can think of was recently was Jenny Magic Hat, but that didn't seem that similar to this, but that seemed much more of a distribution style. Purchase. They didn't seem to be yeah. buying them out to, to. And Jenny's what they've been doing. Whatever that brewery is now, actually call because uh, their stuff up there. Uh, yeah. Because they they distribute the bats and they 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 contract brew a bunch of stuff and they they do a bunch of different work up here. Right, right, right. So the Magic Hat thing was just that was more of like a here we've got all this brew this all this channel you know distribution channel yeah. that we could use. What, what's what's the best one to buy? It feels take advantage of it feels Hat. like it's the same thing. results for both. But it feels like they were worded differently, and they they're going to be perceived differently. I guess. Practical um, flex. You can get on that. I uh, I'm going to stick with my original. I'm going to go five five. Um, I I'm, I'm just not and I'm not impressed. Um, I'm not impressed with anything that you can get in a six pack of Goose Island. Um, Bourbon County Stout's a great beer. Matilda's good. Frère Jacques is good. Sophie Sophie or Sophia. Sophie. 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 Yeah. Those are all good beers. I, I'm not I'm not terribly impressed with anything from Goose Island, and especially after I tasted like. Um, the three one two, nah, not impressed, and so this kind of continues on the same. Now, a five point five is pretty low on my scale, but it's certainly no. Uh, you get some point. Point. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I mean, yeah. Cheap shots out. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take the higher road. Yeah. Uh, five five. Okay. Um, you know, I'll go five A just because this is a beer that you know it's grown on me a little bit more than I used to like it, just because. Honestly, it's availability. So if I go to you know if I go to a bar 
that doesn't serve craft beer that, as much, you know, as, as much craft beer as some of the, our favorites. This is the one I'll go for. So it's got a little bit grown on me, but even drinking it now out of a bottle, you know, isn't the same as drinking it out of draft. And like, it's easy to find a lot of imperfections in it. Um, it's not bad. It's a very easily drinkable, slightly hopped IPA with an okay malt flavor, you know, but it's nothing standout-ish. Um, I'd have to agree with the same thing, you know, Bruce Land on one side has like amazing beers, you know, they're amazing big beers, and then the other side it's like, ah, I'm not going to buy that. Yeah. Like, I don't think I'd ever buy a six pack of Goose Island. Oh, I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a six, eight, close to seven. Yeah. No, I really, I enjoy it. I, 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 drink, I get it a lot um, because it's easy to find. I pick it up. It's got a little hop to it. It's not a lot. Balanced, I guess, is the word you'd use. Low hopped, I guess, would be a word you'd use. I, I don't mind the flavor. I enjoy it. I, don't, I like their other stuff. I like Honkers. I even like 312. I don't love them, but I like them. Not impressed by the brewery, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. You know, the other stuff for kind of stuff spectacular, like we said, all that stuff. Uh, I'm actually slightly even excited about the takeover from InBev, just so that uh, next to my Budweiser might be Goose Island, and that's a real quick, easy grab for me, because I, I, I enjoy it. So yeah, 6, 8 to 7. I liked it. I, I, I'm going to go, uh, I'll go 6, 3. Um, I like it. It's got, it's got a, you know, Decent hop flavor. You can definitely tell that it's you know it's hops is the main character for it, but it's got kind of a, a watery characteristic to the feeling of it, and there isn't a whole lot on the back end, so it doesn't really whatever. I mean, I have got a six pack of it before. I have drank a six pack of it before, but it's like outside of that, I'm not I'm not too thrilled about. It. I don't go seeking this out. You know, this isn't if this is the one of the things there. I will look for something else before I come back to this. If there isn't anything else, this is a great alternative, but. There are many more that I could that I could find usually where this shows up that I would prefer, uh, but it's not a bad beer. It's just not a great beer. Yeah. So six three. I'm with you. All right. Good luck with all that money in your pocket.